Hi, welcome my dear kids once again to this video of learning mathematics lessons. In previous section, what did you learn? We completed a big chapter about measurement. There we discussed some quantities, right? Today we start with a popular food, a delicious pizza. Let's eat it with your friends. So you have to divide it equal parts. Here we divide it into eight equal parts. So each one of you will get two parts out of eight pieces. Or can we say that each one of you had two by eight part of pizza. And the numbers in this form are known as fraction. Then tell me, what is a fraction? Fraction means a piece of something or a part of something. The numbers of the form A by B is called fraction. Let's learn more about these fractions. As we can see, a fraction has two parts. One top part and one bottom part. The top part is known as numerator and the bottom part is known as denominator. The top part is called numerator and the bottom part is known as denominator. Denominator is the total number of equal parts in which the whole divided into and numerator is the Number of equal parts that has been taken out of which have been left out. Now, suppose your friend asks you how much pizza you had. You will not say that you had a one big pizza and you divide it into eight equal parts and ate two parts of it. But now, as you know, fractions are. So, you will proudly say that you had... 2 by 8 portion of pizza. Now, can you tell me how much part of pizza that all of your remaining friends have? 6 part of pizza remaining out of 8. So, they all had 6 by 8 part of pizza. Let's take a small quiz. Can you tell me that does the shaded portion correspond to the fraction display? In question 2, the shaded region represents the fraction. And in question 1 and 3, it is not. Can you tell why it's so? In question number 1, there is no equal parts. It is not divided to two equal parts. That's why it is not a shaded region that corresponds to the displayed fraction. And in question 3, it is not divided into four equal parts. And hence, the fractions are not corresponding to the shaded region. Did you get all the three correct? Shade this figure according to given fraction. This rectangle box have eight equal parts and the fraction is given by three by eight. So we have to shade three parts in this rectangle box. Now it is three by eight. Here in this question, the fraction is given and we have to shape the selected area. In next question, the fraction should be find out from the shaded area. In this circle, two portions are shaded and have four equal parts. Then the fraction is 2 by 4 because two portions is shaded, that is 2 in numerator and total number of equal parts, that is 4. So the fraction is 2 by 4. We learn so many fractions in this section. That is 2 by 8, 3 by 8, then what? 2 by 4, like this. In all of these fractions, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Here look, this is numerator is 2 and the denominator is 8. 2 is smaller than 8. And here 3 is the numerator and 8 is the denominator. And here 2 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator. In all these fractions, the numerator is smaller than denominator. Such fractions are called proper fractions. All the fractions that we studied till now is 
proper fractions. Examples are then what about the improper fractions? Nothing is basically improper with these fractions. They are just called as improper fraction. If you have five chocolates and you need to share equally among four friends, then what will be the fraction? It is five by four. If you have five chocolates and you have to share Emma four friends. So the fraction is five by four. This type fraction is known as improper fraction. Improper fractions are the fractions where the denominator is smaller than numerator. Here is the example five by four. Another example. 10 by 3. Like this. The improper fractions are the fractions where the denominator is smaller than the numerator. Look at this. Denominator is 4 and numerator is 5. Here, denominator is the smaller number. Do not get confused with these proper fractions and improper fractions. In proper fraction, the denominator is the larger number. In improper fraction, the numerator have the larger number. Let's move on another type of fraction. Improper fraction can be written in another manner. You guys have 5 chocolates and 4 friends. Now, how will you divide this among yourself? You can take 1 chocolate each at first. Now, you are left with 1 chocolate and 4 people. Each one of you have 1 chocolate and 1 by 4 of the another chocolate. So, in total, you have 1, 1 by 4 chocolate. This type of fraction is known as mixed fraction. The another type of fraction that is 1, 1 by 4. So, we obtain this mixed fraction from this improper fraction. You can obtain mixed fraction by normal division. Let's do it. This is our improper fraction. Let's do our normal division process. That is, 5 is the dividend and 4 is the divisor. Here we join the division. We got the 1 is a quotient and 4 is here and 1 is the reminder. And this 1 is quotient and this 4 is divisor. From this, we have to write 4 divisor. 4 is a denominator. When we convert the improper fraction to mixed fraction, we have to write the divisor as the denominator. The number that we get as the remainder is the numerator. And the whole number is quotient. So, this is the quotient and this is the remainder and the denominator is the divisor. Mixed fractions are nothing but it is another way to write improper fraction. Let's have a recap before we finish this section. What are fractions and three types of fractions? Fraction means a part of something, right? And three types of fractions. There are first one is proper fraction, and second one is improper fraction, and third one is mixed fraction. Proper fractions are the fractions in the numerator is smaller than the denominator. For example, two by four, three by five, etc. In improper fractions, the improper fractions are the fractions that the numerator is bigger than the denominator. That is 5 by 2, 10 by 6, like this. Mixing fraction are the fractions has a combination of whole number and a part of a proper fraction. Before I leave, can you tell me are these numbers are fractions? I will be excited to answer and you can put them in comment section below. In next section, we learn more about conversion of these fractions. Till then, keep learning. Have a good day. Thank you.